Item number, SCP-879, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, Revised 2000. Due to the successful capture of SCP-879, it is to be stored in a reinforced aquatic specimen tank, measuring 30 by 20 by 10 meters, on site. SCP-879 is to be kept in a chemically induced coma via intravenous injection. It requires no nutrients, outside of bi-weekly hydrogen sulfide injections. All tools that come in contact with SCP-879 are to be fully sterilized, so as to prevent accidental spread or exposure of the entity's pheromones. The former Site-55 and all specimens of SCP-879-2 contained therein are to be remotely observed by drones operated from the Foundation research ships Andromeda, Alcatraz, and Black Martin. A 20-kilometer security perimeter is to be kept around Site-55 at all times. Description SCP-879 is an oceanic mammal measuring 26 meters in length, 85.3 feet, bearing a strong resemblance to the order Cetacea. The creature has smooth skin, which is primarily black, with a white underbelly, and moves by means of a fluked tail and ten sets of flippers. The two foremost pairs are highly muscular and are still used as rudimentary limbs during beaching. While SCP-879 is toothed, it also possesses a set of retractable baleen. SCP-879 exudes a powerful pheromone based in epidermal oils, with severe mind-altering effects in humans over a range of approximately 100 meters, as well as the capability of further spread through physical contact. Those exposed to the pheromone will seek out SCP-879 with single-minded determination ignoring all but the strongest of outside stimuli. Study of subjects' brain chemistry indicates a state resembling sexual attraction. Upon encountering SCP-879, subjects will strip themselves of clothing, make physical contact with the entity, and data expunged. Surgical removal is only viable within the first hour of absorption. It has only been effective in percent of attempts. SCP-879 currently has no fewer than 73 individual humans absorbed into its own body, which now exist as vestigial clusters of organs. The subject's neural and cardiovascular systems are linked to that of SCP-879, while unnecessary systems such as the digestive and respiratory have atrophied. This effectively grants SCP-879 a secondary nervous system and the appropriate means to oxygenate it, as well as the functions granted by the repurposing of these grafts. Absorbed bodies fall into one of three categories. Sexual. Grafts will be repurposed into reproductive organs, supplying eggs and sperm to SCP-879 and granting it the capability of hermaphroditic reproduction. Chemosynthetic. Grafts will become organs housing specialized bacteria, which feed off of hydrogen sulfide that has been absorbed by SCP-879, and are used as a steady supply of energy. Unspecialized. Grafts will serve no further purpose after absorption. SCP-879 was first seen in 1976, when it beached itself on the island housing Site-55. Coordinates off the coast of Antarctica, and proceeded to absorb the staff present and spawn the first generation of SCP-879-2. This breeding site has been used for all subsequent generations, with an average of three to four years between beachings. Outside of reproduction, SCP-879's recorded pre-containment behavior consisted solely of seafloor hibernation periods used to absorb hydrogen sulfide from deep water vents, and a migratory swimming pattern contained within an approximately 1,200 square mile section of the Antarctic and South Pacific Oceans. 
There have been nine recorded generations of SCP-879-2. Classified as SCP-879-2A to SCP-879-2I and a total of 86 individuals living on Site-55 as of 2000. The appearance of these differs from brood to brood. Earlier generations bear more resemblance to humans, while later ones will more closely resemble SCP-879. All specimens of SCP-879-2 have shown aggression towards any intrusion upon Site-55 by Foundation personnel and no individuals are capable of moving themselves any significant distance away from Site-55. It is believed that SCP-879-2 would have reached full development by the 12th generation. Addendum 1 2000 Due to a shift in SCP-879's migration pattern, which brought it dangerously close to Tasmania and the Australian coast, Operation Bellyflop was ordered by the O5 board, carried out by Dr. and Agent M. Addendum 2 2000 Operation Bellyflop concludes as a success. SCP-879 was brought under Foundation control, but with more physical damage than originally projected. Dr. was put under disciplinary review for causing needless damage to an SCP item. Addendum 3 2010 Footage recorded by drones observing Site-55 shows two SCP-879-2 individuals, 879-2I-3 and 879-2H-6 respectively, displaying mating behavior. Results of said behavior remain inconclusive. Observation of Site-55 has been increased and five members of Task Force Gamma-6 deployed to the Black Martin to provide further support. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-878, The Actor, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.